everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to Dragonfly Bee's Resale Journey. In this video, I have, as you can see, a thread up box. And this one is from Phoenix, Arizona. And this one happens to be a DIY uh, rescue, well, DIY jewelry rescue box. So I am just going to cut it open and see what we have. Now, here's the receipt. Let me take a quick peek. Yes, it is a DIY jewelry, five pound rescue box, and it cost $44. But with tax and um, shipping, I think it comes out to about $10 or more for me. So this one, like I said, is from Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, well. <laughs> and colorful. Let me... Show you what it looks like. Big, big pink bangle. Look at this colorful braided. Interesting. Okay, so let's um, let's pull out some pieces and see what we have here. Phoenix, Arizona. Hmm, you know what? I think I'm gonna get a um, container to throw all the single earrings in. So, I'll be right back. So, um, I basically put all the earrings in here. I'm still going through this pile. I'm gonna get through this tangle and then and then we'll go over each piece. Okay, um, took most of the necklaces out. I left all the bracelets in the bag. And uh, here's a little box of earrings. So let's go over, um, let's go over the bracelets. Let's see what this is. This looks pretty interesting. Um, oh, and there's a tag still on it. This is a multi-strand gunmetal tone this looks brand new uh i saw a tag white house black market <clears throat> all right let's see what it is oh nice this is a it's that mesh style necklace and then you have these these feel acrylic they're faceted metal tone uh beads in bicone shapes in these faceted bead shapes and also these um rectangular shapes and it goes oh okay this is tiered so this is very nice this is quite nice this is like like i said in brand new condition so let me um let me make some room put that aside so i can uh take a measurement here for you and see see how long it is so this one here has a 16 and a half inch drop to the shortest strand and it does go quite long past that so we have uh we have this one to start off this um thread up DIY box from where was it from? Phoenix, Arizona. And this is by where's that tag again? Here it is. White House Black Market. Okay. So we have this one. Okay, next in this group, um, this is all craft on this side. And we have this statement necklace, but look at these um, really nice little medallions that can be repurposed. So let me untangle it first and show you what they look like. Aren't they pretty? 
they have rhinestones in the center and uh, there's the back side the rhinestones are all intact it's it's the chain that's really um, in bad condition and these flowers come in all different sizes I think it's really uh, pretty and this can be repurposed into a new necklace and of course I got it tangled in something else oh gosh um there you go okay so you have these five larger flowers well no there's one hidden here too what am I doing <laughs> Try to put it back together like a puzzle. Okay, here you go. So you got two little small ones, four of this size, and then one large one. So this will be a craft lot item. And uh, yeah, all the rhinestones are intact. Another craft lot item would be this one here. It's one of those bubble, bubble statement necklaces but these are very pretty too i like these they're faceted as you can see and then you have these um aqua colored beads and this part goes with it as well um there's the back side oh that one has really bad what is that like burn marks <laughs> so yeah this will be in the craft lot and I'm making a bag as we speak. Okay, here's another item that I'm going to place into the craft lot. This is a, a brass tone necklace. Uh, the bead caps are quite worn. The lobster clasp is very worn. But it's, uh, I don't know. If anyone has one of those um, cleaners, maybe this would uh, look brand spanking new if you were to clean it up. Because it's in... Yeah, it's in good condition. Multi-strand, very nice. Craft lot item. Uh, what's this? I don't believe this one is a craft lot item. Yeah, maybe. Not sure. Um, no. I don't think so. Um, this could go into craft. Yeah, this is worn. It's a Banana Republic necklace. Really worn. So that will be craft. This here is a big tangle that I didn't um, bother taking apart. But when I looked at the components, you have this very pretty. Hmm. Yeah, that's acrylic. You have this. Uh, pendant and then you have these little uh, druzy faux druzy yeah this whole mess I don't see anything okay you have this chevron piece and there's some verdigris this is a craft this next item wow this is pretty worn as well um across huh let me uh get my magnet out and make sure that it's not uh, magnetic uh, the cross is but this is not so i'll put this aside and uh, test that later. So we have that. Uh, hmm. Okay, so then let's go over some of these necklaces here. I saw this one. I said, oh my goodness, this is so fun. Look how long it is. I mean, this is like a flapper length. This is um, really fun blue. Look at these. The shapes of these um, beads are just... They have like three 
three corners and um, super, super long. And it is threaded on a gold thread. I think I just um, folded it in fours. So average, I would say this is about 40 inches, uh, maybe 80 inches in total length. So this will be in the craft lot as well. Just, you know, plastic uh, beads. Next up is this. This is nice. These are bezel set acrylic faceted beads. Let's see, where's the closure? Oh, here it is. Silver tone. There is a jewelry tag and it says Ann Taylor. Mm hmm. So this is an Ann Taylor. Nice color. It's a very soft beige long necklace with these stations of bezeled uh, acrylic stones. So measuring this one, I need to open that. And this one has a a drop of 21 inches, so it's um, average about 42 inches in total length. And it's in pretty nice condition, yeah. So we have, we have this one with the lobster claw and Taylor. Here's a nice heavy necklace. This one has a lobster claw as well. And there's a jewelry tag and it says, it says J. Crew. This is a gold tone link necklace. And some of those uh, links have this blue, cobalt blue enamel coating on them. And uh, yeah, they're evenly spaced throughout this necklace. Gives me a kind of nautical feel. This has a, oh, approximately 18 inches drop. So total length of 36 inches. Nice condition. Let's take a look at this closer. Fun, right? I like this one. J. Crew gold tone link necklace, and it has some weight. Next up, we have this halite bead, hand knotted, graduating in size beads uh, necklace. It has a silver tone lobster claw at one end and an extender and they're the largest bead is on the bottom this one has a drop of approximately 10 inches and we have that okay next up we have this double strand necklace it is gold tone. There is a lobster claw at the end. It's made up of glass, these glass um, round beads. And then you have these uh, embellishments of little gold tone rosettes and leaves. Um, there's white glass seed beads and like a citrine color one. And uh, yeah, let's keep going down. And it's uh, tiered. So let's measure this one. There's no name brand on this, but uh, the strand that has all those embellishments are is the longer one. And then the shorter strand is basically a gold tone chain. Yeah. with nothing on it. It's just a gold tone chain. So let me measure 
the shorter strand and that measures approximately 18 inches. It's in nice condition. We have this one. Yeah, no jewelry tag. No, uh, no brand. Where was that closure? Here it is. Yeah. So now you, there you have this one. Moving on, we have, uh, wow. We have this uh, seed bead necklace, black and white. I see some of these threads popping out. I'll put this into the craft lot. There is silver tone hardware. It's in nice condition. I mean, even the bead caps are not that scratched up. But yeah, I see some of the uh, threads uh, popping out. So this will go into the craft lot. Made that bag over there. What is this? This is a, I believe it's one necklace. Let's see. Yeah, it definitely is. There you go. You have, look at this purple AB coated strand. And then you have this silver tone metal strand along with this pale pink bicone and two different sizes of chains in a gunmetal tone. Let's see if I could loosen this up. Oh, this is long. And it's tiered. So you have five strands. Uh, there is a very long extender that you can even remove. There's a little lobster claw on it. Oh, you can even use that for something else. Another necklace. Okay. This is pretty. And the drop to the shortest strand is about 14 and a half inches. And the longest strand goes all the way up to 18 and a half. So we have this one. Very pretty. Very nice colors, too. Okay. Next one I pulled was... Oh, this is, um, these are real pearls. These are fresh water. And look at the different colors. Pink. Like a, I don't know, silver and white. And even this buttery yellow. There is a lobster claw. This feels so cold. Um... Hmm, they may be glass then, because this does feel very cold. So let me measure this one. Really nice colors. You have the grays, the pinks, the whites, the yellows. This has a drop of approximately 17 and a half inches long. Uh, so that would be 35 inches in total for this beautiful I like the organicness of it. Not one pearl is the same as the other. And are these hand? Yeah, they're very tightly hand knotted in between. So we have this. Look at these uh, next three fun ones I pulled out from that pile. This, they're all silver tone. This one here. This panel, hammered, textured look at necklace. Um, there is a lobster claw at the end, an extender. These really nice links, link necklace. This has a drop of approximately seven inches, and you do have that extender. Let me lift this up, show it to you close up. It needs some wiping right there. But overall, this chain is nice. Let's look at the back side. There's the back side. And there is some copper somewhere on the those links there. There's no maker's mark on this, but this is a I think this is quite a fun piece. It just needs to be cleaned up right there. 
So we have this one. This one is so nice. You have these polished panels and uh, this curve necklace, kind of port torque. There's that lobster claw. And let me um, just measure this as is like that, I guess. Would you measure it like that? Let me try. Yeah, six and a half inches, and then you do have a very long extender with the bead at the end. The funny thing about this necklace, when I turned it around, I noticed that each panel is numbered. So what was, it's like a puzzle. <laughs> you see how you see how they're numbered? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It goes all the way up to twenty-one. Odd. But really nice. I like this one. And then here, this one here is very flexible. It is, well, well, there's the back. <laughs> there is that lobster claw. This one has a very long extender as well. But look at the front. It has all these rhinestones. And this looks like, um, like, I don't know, some bracelets that I've seen. It's like a metal mesh. And then you have this link chain design above it. And then looking through this whole entire necklace, each and every rhinestone is intact. So let me move this one aside for a moment. So I can put this one in the middle, and then you could see. Isn't that nice? Very nice. I think it's in good condition. And this one here, I don't know if I measure it this way. It's about mm, six inches, but then you do have that really very long extender. And that extender is about a little over three inches long. So we have this one. And this one, and this one. Next up, I found this one. This is so unusual. You have these beautiful rainbow color. I mean, look how vivid these threads are. Braided necklace. There are, um, that's a brass bead cap. And then you do have that lobster claw at the end. Little tiny extender. But look what's hanging off of it. You have this, uh, spiral bail of some sort and then you have these they look like a uh, paddles with that same color thread that you see above woven in and out of it and there's the back side it's just a very unique piece and they I don't know southwestern feel eight and a half inches in drop so we have this one so colorful wow oh my goodness this one here look at this chain this is a this is by bobble bar Let's take a look at this. My goodness. Oh, what a statement piece. Okay. You have this rhinestone filled. Uh, okay, I have to take a look at this close. It just keeps going. Wow. Okay baguettes all the way on the top this is a panel um style on top because you do have that hinge so there is some flexibility and then it comes down to this design here and all the rhinestones are intact and then hanging off of that you have uh, these chains and in the middle there is this centerpiece which also has 
<clears throat> rhinestones all intact and it falls down to two strands where you have this huge pendant hanging off of this. And you know what? Everything is present. Everything. Tell me this is not a statement necklace. I don't even think I have something. Well, I have a, I do have a long display, but that's being used right now. But wow. Okay. This is pretty amazing. Let's uh, take a close look at this. Look at the back side. This back looks really good. I don't even see I don't even see any copper peeking through. Let's measure it. Let's measure this beauty. Oh my goodness. Uh, bobble bar? Yeah, bobble bar. So Measuring this, okay, that, that is at the shortest length right now. So, let's get my tape measure. This one's about 8 inches. And then you do have this extender. What do you think of this? Oh my goodness, I've never seen a bobble bar piece so elaborate and just just stunning this is something else and it's uh it has some weight i just love the different uh layers it's funny when i first saw this i thought it was a mask right like the two eyes in the mouth <laughs> i'm seeing things but this is pretty pretty spectacular so we have this I must say, interesting jewelry from uh, Phoenix. Here is another one that has a tag on it. This one is, what is this? Uh, okay, this is also a White House Black Market. This is a double strand gold tone. Let me put this on the, the, the shortest uh, link. Let's take a look at this. Oh my, these are glass and that feels like a stone. Even the, the faux pearls feel like glass and there's some metal faceted beads and some pale gold tone ones. This is really pretty. Okay, let's straighten it out. This is nice, very nice. White House Black Market does make nice jewelry. Okay, so this is a double strand. And measuring this to the shortest, the inner strand, it goes up to eight inches. You do have that nice extender. And um, I think this is really nice. You know me and glass beads. This one's really good. I like this one. Let's change it up a bit. Let me grab some of these uh, bracelets that are in here. Well, here's that big one that we saw when we opened the box. Oh, this is so pretty. This is in great condition. It's a really wide acrylic pink bangle. And uh, you have that like marbling in the middle. And then you have the... Um, solid colors on either side so when i put this on here this one i would say measures about eight and a quarter is it really that large you know what i would say eight inches in circumference and uh this is in nice condition so we have this one and then next wow we have this really heavy, twisted, braided uh, seed bead, bugle bead bracelet that has two loops 
on either side because there's two little uh, these beads to to latch on to. Oh, that's different. I've never seen something that you could latch on to, uh, a bracelet that you can latch on to on both ends. That's very unique. Bright, vivid yellow. Really nice black, glossy bugle beads. You have red bugle beads. You have pink seed beads. Okay. So let's measure the length of this one. I'm going to measure it to, let's see. So this could be like eight, eight inches, about eight inches or, or more. So we have that. Very different, very funky. I like this one. It's, it's just unique. It's really unique. So next up, we have this one. This one is like a, it looks like an Alex and Ani style. No, it's not. <sighs> Have faith. This is a, has a plate and it has that hook closure right there. This looks like brass. And there is a tag that says something. A studio. Studio One, I think. I've never seen that uh, jewelry mark before. I don't recognize it. But this needs a... I don't know. It needs some wiping. So you know what? I, I will put this into the craft lot. Here's a green metallic bangle. This will be in the craft lot. This one here is a, I guess it goes, oh, this is stuck to it. That's a magnet, right? Yeah, it's a magnet with some feathers, feather charms. This is sweet. Uh, this will be in the craft lot as well, along with this. Next, we have a charm bracelet, um, gold tone, but you know what? It's really, um, there are, there's a lot of wear. A lot of the gold has come off, the gold plating, I guess. But the charms are still reusable. So you have a fortune cookie. You have a wishbone. You have a jump ring that has nothing on it. You have a feather. So uh, this has weight, too, and it is magnetic. So this will go into the craft lot. Okay, next up we have this uh, gold tone bracelet and it has a spring ring safety chain. That's odd. Uh, there's a V on it with all these rhinestones. This looks pretty small. Let's see. It goes to six and um, three quarters. So we have that. It's very sweet. Um, I gotta say some of these rhinestones look uh, discolored so we have that this one here oh this is sweet what a pretty bracelet this is um has a very large spring ring clasp and you have these smoky gray faceted they feel like crystal and you have these dangling ones on some of them Maybe this one here on my right is missing one. Let's see if there's any mark on this. Oh, 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 I do see something. I do see something. Let's see. What does it? Oh, it's upside down. Just bear with me saw something okay let's try again mex mex and on top it says 22k what all right we'll have to test this one so we'll put this one in the test pile 
but wow, this is so pretty. Okay, moving on. Uh, this one. Whoa. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. Just checking to see. I think all the rhinestones are there. This has a beautiful fold over clasp. Let's look at the back side. This is so nice. I don't see anything, um, I don't see any marks, no signature. Mm. This is the back side. No, I don't see anything. Wow, this is so nice. Okay. Okay, I said that too many times. Let me uh, measure the length on this one. This looks like, uh, I'm thinking seven. Yeah, yeah, seven. This is a, a seven inch bracelet. I, I'm pretty sure this is vintage, but these are in, in amazing condition. Really beautiful. Okay, what's up next? Ooh, this is a toggle bracelet. There is a beautiful cross charm hanging off of it. And it's marked STR for sterling. I'm wondering if this charm was added to this bracelet or is part of the bracelet. It has these, um, I believe these are freshwater pearls. I love that color. It's a very unique color, almost like a taupe. Um, this will be something I will put in the test pile, but in the meantime, Let's measure the length of this one. And I would say it's about seven and a half, give or take. Yeah, most likely. So we have that. Next bracelet. Oh, this is cute. Look at all the twisty, um, like S-shaped chain links and then you have these metal beads has a lobster claw and it's marked 925 right there this is something it's so nice this is something um that i will add to the test pile so in the meantime, let's measure this one. And it's about seven and a half inches long. And oh, I wonder where that came from. Okay, so we'll, we'll test this one along with the others. Okay, let's test some bracelets. Uh, first of all, was this one here. And if I bring you in close, you can see the mark says 925 Italy. Uh, D O B B S or eight. Hmm. So we'll test this one. And it also has nine two five on the lobster claw. Uh right there. Or does that say F A S? So we have this one. And then the next one was this bracelet, the toggle bracelet. And on the back of the, uh, the cross, you could see it does say stir. So we'll test this as well. Um, next up was the cross, but then looking at it closer, I'm not gonna test this one. It it looks like um like brass and the cross was magnetic, so I'm not gonna bother with this one. So let's go ahead and, and, and do these. I will scratch the 
lobster clasp and one of these um, beads. Let's see if I could see if I could get one at the end. Okay, and then with this one, I guess I could test the toggle on one side. And take that cross charm make a scratch there and yeah so that's on this side and this is on this side that's what the scratches look like so let me take the 18 karat acid and place a drop on each one of the scratches and if they turn a bright blue we have sterling so this is in fact sterling it is marked correctly and the one on the right I had scratched the cross charm on this side and I scratched the toggle on the left side and bringing it closer I do see blue specks in that left one hmm let me try that one more time maybe take this one Make a scratch right there. See what happens now. And no. So it's basically the charm that is marked Sterling, Stir, S T E R, that is in fact Sterling Silver, but this um, bracelet. The toggle components at least are not and this one is so yeah good to know okay let's test this bracelet here um, on this tag it says <sighs> all of it is cut off on the top um, but I do see two 2k mix so, all right, I'm going to scratch this on the stone. Let me see if I can get that chain. It's going to be tough. Let's see what happens. Um, <clears throat> this, this, and this. I'm going straight to the 22. Why not? I have to say it's the first time I'm using this bottle. 22. And I don't see it happening. So the letters that I'm thinking that I can't see may say gold filled or gold plated or who knows. Because the acid does not lie. Okay, everyone, that's a wrap for this part one of the unboxing of the Thread Up 5-pound DIY Jewelry Rescue Box. 
hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe don't forget to subscribe to get in on these deals ring the bell choose all notifications that way you'll be alerted when i post part two and comment tell me what you think so far of this jewelry from phoenix arizona so far i'm pretty impressed i like it so here's a pre preview of what's coming up what's left in the box and um look at these i've never ever seen earrings this unusual yeah i found them in the bag so stay tuned and thanks so much for spending this time with me oh by the way if there's anything you like to purchase email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com the instructions are in the beginning of the video right after my introduction i always place them below in the description box so check that out and if anything does sell i create a sold list in the comment section and i pin it so that means it will always be the first comment that you'll see and um yes stay tuned part two is coming up hopefully shortly soon and um thanks for spending this time with me and i'll see you real soon bye